Hi, my name is Alex Knight, and I'm a senior at UCLA on the men's volleyball team. I'm a Pacifica alumni, class of 2019. so great. Alex Lots Knight, the Volleyball Mag National High School Player of the Year a year ago. The rivalry goes <laughs> Carl is smiling, I know it. Rolls. Yes. And out of the back row, Alex Knight. And Alex Knight just bursting onto the scene, the National High School Player of the Year in his freshman season. D16. Here he is. He's smart too. At the end of my freshman year, I started getting noticed by college coaches like UCLA, USC, Long Beach State, Penn State, Ohio State, Princeton, Harvard, Stanford, and a couple more. I was also fortunate enough to play for my country and play on the USA Youth and Junior National teams, and that was an incredible honor to wear USA across my chest and to travel and represent the country and compete at the highest level. This is where the magic happens. In March, we played USC in this gym, and it was a big game, rivalry game, so the whole, all, all the students came out, and we fortunately beat them in the fifth set, so fight fight down. <laughs> this is Paul Pavilion. This is where the men's and women's basketball team and volleyball teams play and where we also practice. This is a nutrition station so I come here before practice and grab a snack. We got some dried mango and bananas here. Nutritionist isn't too happy with me right now but hopefully if I have some more dried mango and bananas it'll be better. This is where we lift three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And so each of us gets our own individual rack and we do different things like back squat, deadlift, pull-ups, all different stuff. Ooh. That's all I got. Should we get a clip of me just eating it into the bushes? This is our Athletic Hall of Fame. This is where all the trophies are held. As you can see, um, we have 119 championships overall, and the men's volleyball team has 19 of them, and hopefully getting 20 next year. I'm currently a senior here at UCLA, and I just finished my sociology major, and now for my senior year, I'm gonna do a history minor. I won't lie, it's some days that are really hard, and I have to work through tiredness and fatigue, but with time management and the skills I've learned from both Pacifica and UCLA, I'm able to manage it. Some things I love about Pacifica is that I was able to have the opportunity to play many different sports that I probably wouldn't play at different schools. I was able to play basketball my freshman year, which I'm really not that good at. I was able to play volleyball and baseball at the same time, which is in the same season. And I got the opportunity to play with my brother who was graduating the next year. So I was able to play volleyball and baseball at the same time. I was a person that my teachers got to know outside of the classroom. And I was able to really get to know them and they get to know me. And we would just go to lunch on a casual Wednesday afternoon and get to know me outside of my volleyball, outside of the school, and know me as a person. And that's something I think I wouldn't probably get at different schools where there's a lot of numbers and there's too many people that they can't have a personal relationship with. Being at a secular university is different and hard, but I would say my roots at Pacifica have allowed me to stay strong in my faith and to pursue um, a strong Christian faith in a secular university, which is not easy to do. Next year, I hope to pursue a master's degree in coaching and leadership development, which is a John Wooden program. And then after that, I would love to play pro overseas in Europe and sign a pro contract to play volleyball there. And then hopefully pursue a national team career and maybe play in the 2028 Olympics here in LA. But that's kind of down the road, we'll see. And after that, I'd love to play beach volleyball and kind of live a normal lifestyle down here in LA. Freshman from Culver City, California, Pacifica Christian High School is where he picked up that National Player of the Year nomination. He's a member of the U.S. Youth National Team and captained the squad as well.